welcome to my tarot corner. So between the two readings, I took a few moments and uh, to finish my tea, and I had a peep into Sue Smith uh, video, and it just made me laugh because uh, one of the things that uh, she said there is that Prince Harry claimed that. They never said that they wanted privacy, they wanted control. So if you saw my previous video today, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so Archwell. Looks like Archwell is falling apart, but also it looks like Archwell is very cringeworthy. And the Royal Rift showed yesterday a very, very suspicious thing. And it looks like uh, $10 million were uh, donated to Archwell via some, some route of a donation that uh, the donation can be kept there and not taken by the, uh, by the, the actual uh, people that, uh, that it's donated to, but uh, it can be taken, you know, um, all in all sorts of ways. And it, she uh, uh, laid out the possibility of uh, maybe that is part of the money that uh, Harry just got for the book, uh, his, for his book. Uh, um, uh, um, spare and um, two of uh, the main Archwell employees left this week. One of them was Mandana Diane, that was uh, the uh, the uh, the one that was uh, the boss of Archwell. Uh, TV productions and the, uh, also the one that was on in charge of actual audio also left or was fired we don't know but it seems like Archwell is falling apart now there is a small YouTube channel that I'm following that is called uh, um, well I'll put it in the in the description call but it is uh, uncensored uh, um, something, uh, UK, uh, someone who loves to uh, to put out all sorts of uh, uh, truth and to find out all sorts of uh, um, all sorts of um, uh, probably corruptions. Yeah, it's called. Uh, uh, corruption and uh, um, uncensored corruption uh, UK, something like that. I'll put it in the description box. And um, he's been researching Archwell and he saw that uh, Archwell has actually, there is two Archwell. There is Archwell Inc. and there is Archwell the Foundation. And the Archwell Inc. is a, a the, is uh, is based in Delaware, but it, the main uh, address is in uh, California, and the Archwell Foundation has the same address in the in California. So something very fishy is going on with Archwell. So I'm going to use a spread that is called Revelation and Secrets. And we're going to try and find some of the secrets of Archwell. And I'm using this gilded tarot deck that is also black and gold. Uh, and this is a teaching deck, actually. Every, de every card has uh, its own, um, and I'll show you how it goes. Uh, every card has a... Uh, there's the card itself, and then there is the uh, explanation of the card, all sorts of, uh, uh, all sorts of um, um, uh, keywords uh, regarding the cards. Now, I usually don't use the the 
the information on the card because these these are the uh, uh, the way that uh, most people read the card the the cards most people are that you know like like uh, like the, the the regular way that uh, uh, people read the cards not the way that I study tarot so I don't use that usually uh, but I do like the way that the cards are uh, um, well shaped so I use so I, I love this deck uh, I do have a, another uh, another another um, uh, version of the learning deck and I will show you that uh, sometime in some time okay so let's start with uh, clearing this deck Okay. Oh, I didn't say my disclaimer. So this is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such, may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourself. Okay. So. Clearing the deck once again. Archwell Foundation and Archwell Ink. What are the secrets and the things that Archie, Harry and Megan don't want us to know about Archwell? What is going on in Archwell? How are they self-sabotaging themselves? What are the secrets that are going on around Artra? Okay, so the first card is going to describe Artra. And what we see here is, well, this is this is just wait wait a minute this is not this is just a, a card that is not a, a tarot card it's I, I forgot to take it out so this is the first card and first of all it's a disappointment okay uh, the five of uh, cups is a card that shows us that uh, they are not happy about our twelve. Uh, they expected that Archwell will be a lot more successful than it, they, than it is. Uh, it is something that uh, has disappointed them. They are uh, quite desperate around Archwell. It is falling apart, as you can see. Uh, another, as, as someone said, another one bites the dust and another one and another one. So uh, it looks like only Harry and Meghan are, the, are still standing there, but they might be the ones that will uh, fall down uh, in the future. So it looks like Archwell is uh, crumbling apart. And this is, uh, this is the, the overlook uh, that we can see around Archwell, it looks like a company that is a very, uh, in a very bad state uh, financially, and even the, uh, let's say the, uh, uh, the state, the, the, the um, how do you say that, the, um, sorry, wait a minute. Well, what I meant to say was that the employees are not happy. Nobody's happy there. There's not a, there isn't a happy atmosphere. The atmosphere there is not a happy atmosphere. There is, it's gloomy. It's a gloomy place to work in. People do not enjoy working there. And this is part of the reason why people are leaving. Uh, so this is why it's failing. Wait a minute, I think there is not enough light. Okay, now it's less gloomy. Okay. Well, that was a joke. Uh, but this is what I meant to say, that Archwell is a gloomy place. That is not a successful uh, 
uh, workplace. It's not a place that people are happy to be, to be in. It's not a place that people are enjoying to work in. And that is why people are leaving. And if we're just looking at the messages of this card, what, says, what it says here is a dark colored figure. Okay, this is just a, a, a just an explanation of what we're seeing, but uh, what what do they say about this card? Is oh, rah, rah, rah. Uh, if it is a card of inheritance, transformation, and well, it's hard for me to read, but I can. Well, that that's well, it doesn't really matter. This is what this card is about. This is what we can say about R12. Okay, next card is the situation. So what is the situation that we can see around what's going on in R12 right now in, in everything, in every aspect, not only the, the atmosphere, but also in uh, whether or not it is a scam or whether or not it is uh, just a failing business. And what we're getting here is the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is the queen that would love to be seen as the queen that is uh, the social media, the social worker or the social fighter, the one who cares about uh, social uh, uh, things, the one who cares about everything that is connected with uh, the world and with ecology and with the uh, and, uh, earth and everything that Megan would love us to believe that she is. But this card is badly aspected because it comes right after the five of cups so uh, and it is next to it so it is a card that shows that uh, first of all people that are working in Archwell are expected to sacrifice everything around their lives uh, to to that work they are expected to do everything in everything and to leave everything uh, and just come to uh, work whenever Megan is calling them. And that is uh, what a narcissist usually uh, uh, wants from their, his employees. That's what a G. Tudor is usually telling us about a narcissist bosses, for example. And people there are uh, usually uh, expected to do uh, things that are not ex connected to their, uh, to their uh, description of their jobs. Uh, there is lack of communication. There is a lack of uh, there is there is no communication between uh, the people uh, and between the bosses and the, the atmosphere that and that is may be one part of the reason that the atmosphere there is so bad. But let's look at the affinities of this card as well. Okay, so I couldn't find anything interesting in the affinities, but I could find something interesting in these uh, uh, keywords because what it reads is widowhood, female sadness and embarrassment, absence, sterility, mourning, uh, privation, separation. Okay, so that's interesting so this is the situation what are the unforeseen uh, the unseen forces that are working here and what i'm getting is the devil so here comes the devil and this is the unseen forces and this is what i was looking for exactly what we i was we we were all suspecting this is the devil. This is the 
the, 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 the reason why this art world was founded from the beginning. This is the scamming, this is the lying, this is the conniving, this is the, this is the darkness. This is everything that you can just, uh, you can just imagine bad, it's even worse. All of the bad things that you can think of, all of the darkness that you can think of, all of that is just, def it's, it's just t terrible, terrible. So these are the unseen uh, forces because of course they're trying as hard as they can that nobody will know that uh, it's all, uh, uh, we, uh, it's under false names and all everything is under a uh, false, uh, uh, people that uh, all, uh, uh, lawyers and other people that are taking their uh, uh, taking the, the taking care of those things. So every, so their names are not on that. But Artra is a scam. So this is not really a company that is actually doing work. And probably that is one of the reasons why people are leaving. People are leaving because, first of all, they are expected to do things that they do not, that are, is not a part of their uh, job description because they, uh, Megan believes that she's hiring uh, uh, helpers or a, um, let's say, a, um, personal helpers, uh, which is they are not. And uh, she expects them to do all sorts of things that they, it's not part of their, uh, uh, the way that uh, they, the, the things that they are supposed to do out of uh, their job description. And once again, as the, this is, uh, uh, is uh, this is a place that is gloomy and we all saw how Megan treats her uh, the people who work with her uh, in those pictures in the parking lot uh, after the Indiana uh, Indi uh, Indianapolis uh, event. So uh, this is a scam. This is uh, uh, this is not uh, all of the things that they are talking about that they, about. Uh, the actual audio, the actual t television productions, all of these, is, it, it's just a ruse. Actually, this is a, a, a big lie. This is a big, big lie. And this is why people are leaving, because they get, they're getting to understand that actually they don't do anything there except uh, abiding to what Megan is asking them to do. And then they just leave because they don't want to keep on doing that, and because they're also treated badly. OK, so who is Megan trusting? or Meghan and Harry, but who is the one that they trust? And they are trusting the Queen of Cups. So I don't know who the Queen of Cups is, but it is a water sign person who is a, someone who is probably a Scorpio and someone who is adventurous, someone who will take risks, someone who is prepared to destroy in order to rebuild or to burn bridges behind her, someone who doesn't care if she's a, she or he doesn't have to be a woman, someone who doesn't care if things that uh, they do uh, are causing mayhem, causing all sorts of uh, um, trouble to others, uh, someone who really doesn't care uh, about the results of the things that they do. So this is the person that Megan trusts. And this is a difficult uh, position because if this is a person that Megan trusts, that means that we are we need to expect a lot of things like what they are doing right now. 
Okay, next thing. So how are Megan and Harry self-sabotaging themselves? And what I'm getting here is the Queen of Wands. So Megan, by being herself, the egotistical queen, the one who only cares about herself, uh, the one who loves to perform in front of an audience, the one who cares only about what, what is uh, me, 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 me can uh, achieve. She is a self-sabotager. And this is why they are not succeeding. This is why things are not succeeding. She is self-sabotaging herself. Okay, so what are the secrets or what are the revelations that we can reveal more uh, than what we already did? And we get the star. So the star is telling us that there is a Pandora box. There is a Pandora box waiting to be opened. And if there is a trusted a researcher or a, a very good journalist that is ready to take that as a, as a project, this could make a career. This could make someone a, Pul a Pulitzer Prize because this is a Pandora box just waiting to be open. This is what the star is telling us in this instance. Now, this card is also badly aspected because it is right near the devil. So the devil is badly aspecting the cards that are near him. So it's badly aspecting the five of cups and the star. So the star is badly aspected by the devil. So we're looking at the negative aspects of the star as well. And the negative aspects of the star are, wait a minute. Okay. So we're looking at people that are arrogant. We're looking at people that are self-illusioned and people that are surrendering to all sorts of uh, other persons or other people that are harming them and we can know we know who we're talking about here uh, with, we see people that are really badly uh, in a bad bad mental health problems uh, and it's like there is an evil eye on Harry okay uh, that doesn't allow him to just open his eyes and see the truth so he is uh, feeling blocked and he is pessimistic about the future because he cannot see anything uh, anything coming out of it uh, in any way uh, good. So, but the main thing here is that there is a Pandora box just waiting to be open. And this is, this is something big. So if a, a good journalist picks the, this stories up, up and takes a good, uh, you know, journey of research, they can, um, they can write the story of their life. Okay, so this is the tarot. And, you know, as, mu as much as I'm looking for, it's very hard for me to find a a a another oracle deck to use for nefarious situations like this. So I'm going back and... and once again to the dark mirror. So let's see what does the dark mirror has to say about our 12. So let's clear the deck. Okay, so information about our 12. Information about our 12. Today for tomorrow. 
Okay, so this card speaks about sacrificing the today for the tomorrow and about what ifs. So it is about uh, regrets. It's about uh, if you don't do something that you can do today, you might regret it tomorrow. So maybe you should do it today so you won't regret it tomorrow. Uh, so this card is just telling, st st talking about uh, things that you want and uh, the things that you want them now or uh, maybe you can defer them and wait for them uh, and not take them right now. This, this is the meaning of this card. And what the main uh, uh, message of this card is what we are today and what we are tomorrow may be different, but the, it is the same person. Okay, so this is the message they have uh, about Archwell. So it's interesting, uh, but um, uh, not very um, learning. Okay, but this is it. So I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video, write me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.